everybody, I'm Sarah and I'm a recorder player. Uh, is this gonna be annoying? Welcome back to Team Recorder. Today we are getting into my autumn favourites. It's the start of September here in the Netherlands and that means well and truly autumn. So I'm going to take you through the sheet music, the instruments, the recordery musical things that I've been enjoying that I would like to kind of recommend for you. Before I get into that, thank you for all of your response to my vlog in Brazil. A lot of you wrote to me and said, oh my god, I didn't know you were there, I would have gone there. Um, yeah, I don't often update you about stuff like that on YouTube because often people will watch the videos years later, but you can stay up to date on everything on my Instagram, but more importantly, on my website. So if you check that, I hope to see you at one of the things coming up soon. Okay. I bought a new instrument. So the newest addition to my recorder family is this beautiful F Alto Ganassi recorder with a bottom joint in 415 and another one in 440 by the new Dutch recorder maker, Tom de Vries. I was not actually planning on buying a recorder on that particular day. I was at a recorder festival in Belgium called the Blokvleg Dag in Mechelen. Tom had a stand there. I just started playing his recorders. I'd never played them before and I was just like, Tom's pretty new on the recorder scene, but his instruments are beautiful. They have a really rich, sonorous sound. Apart from this one, I was also really enjoying, there was um, a Baroque F Alto in 415, and there was a copy of the Dordrecht recorder, which was an ancient recorder they actually found in a latrine. Anyway, amongst those beautiful instruments, this one stood out to me. is something that had been on my shopping list for a very long time and with these extra joints it means I can play in a whole bunch of different tunings, pitches, which brings me to sheet music. First up I have this book of the Dowland Complete Consort Music, it's published by Shot. Dowland is just oh, perfect. I talked about this a little while ago in my Renaissance Favourites video, but number eight, the Semper Dowland Semper Dolence, is the most beautiful piece of music you will ever hear in your life. Handy, there is a pull-out page with a table of ranges. So say you're looking for a certain piece for a certain setting of quintet and you wanna check it all fits, you can check here. Um, the only thing that this doesn't have is separate parts, it's only scores, um, so if you're using this you will be score reading. I personally like that with consort music because I like to know what the other parts are doing, just for your information. I picked up an interesting book recently, this is the Solo Recorder Volume 2 by Peacock Press and it's arranged by Andrew Robinson. This is a very thick volume of solo Baroque music arranged for recorder. So this has a load of repertoire that I don't have already, namely the Telemann Fantasias for violin. It has six movements from the Bach solo suites for violin and 29 movements from the Bach solo suites for cello. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest here, there were two things about this book that I didn't like so much. One is that the editor has added in quite a lot of extra slurs. Now he does give you very detailed notes explaining his musical decisions, why he's added them in. I would have preferred if he had just not added them and I could make those decisions myself, but okay. Other is the way in which he has laid out the cello suites. Uh, as I said, there are 29 movements. Rather than arranging them by suite, suite one, suite two, suite three, he's arranged them by the type of movement. So first we get all the preludes in a row and then all the alamans and then all the minuets or whatever. Uh, for me, that's a little bit confusing. I can see why he's done it. Again, not all of the suites are complete and it's nice to compare the movements, but still for me, 
it's not the way I would have thought it. So this could be a nice starting point. It's a lot of new material all in one place. And if you want to go much deeper into it, of course, go to the original sources, start doing your research. But this is a nice starting point. This next one, I don't have a nice edition to show you only an old cruddy photocopy but it is the double concerto for recorder and traverso flute by Talaman. This is so much fun to play especially the presto. Uh, last week I had the occasion to perform this with a group of musicians that I'm a part of called Splendor in Amsterdam. I played it with the um, wonderful flute player Emily Bainon who's the flutist of the Concertgebouw Orchestra. So to play with these people was like... <sighs> I experimented a little bit by playing the third movement on my G alto instead of my F alto. I know, that made the E sharps very interesting but my brain coped with it. It's funny, this has been a very, very early music summer. The next two months coming up for me are very contemporary music, but it's been so nice to be in the Baroque. Now for something completely different on the market, there is a new recorder app. It's called blogflirter.eu. This is just a really nice resource. It's free to download. There is a lot of stuff. We have a forum. I guess we know what a forum is. You can talk to other people, ask them questions. There is a whole news section, festivals, instruments, performers. Very interesting. They have brought in the Recorder Fingering Chart website. Recorderfingerings.com is now integrated into this app. You have an address book where it points you to, for example, recorder orchestras, repairers. And the nice thing is it tells you exactly how far away from them you are. So I know, for example, that I'm 450 kilometers from Barrett Recorder Repairs. That's useful. It is in German, but I have been reliably informed that very, very soon it will be out in English. And the last thing, there is a recorder radio. That is so cool. I think that's so nice. Nice way to discover new music. You can download it for Apple and for Android. I'll put the links down below, like everything else. Next up I have stamps. When I was in Brazil last week at the Sao Paulo Recorder Suzuki Marathon, they had this really nice um, kind of music market. And there I found these amazing rubber stamps. I hope you can see this is the five lines of a stave. So you can just go stamp and you've got some sheet music to show a short melody or a note. This is a recorder with open holes for the fingers so that you can color the fingerings in. When I was teaching really regularly, this would have changed my life. I am realizing now that I neglected to buy an ink pad. I'll do my best to find where you can get these online so I can link it to you. If I've not managed it and you know, please fill me in. Sam, 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 sam. And my last thing, I always like to finish off with something non-musical, is this. This is my sustainable coffee cup. Perfect for feeling smug when I'm on the train to work. It's by a company called Stojo. So what I like about it is it's got this, which is either a heat protector for your hands, or it can be a handy stand when you're putting it down on the table. But the nicest thing is when you're done, you can just collapse it. But after I finish my coffee, I collapse it up, close it, and as yet, I've not had any coffee drops on the precious contents of my bag. It even comes with a straw, which I have lost in my car. So I love these. I mean, like most people, I am frankly terrified of climate change. Now if I buy a disposable coffee cup, I'm just looking at it like, this thing was created to be used by me for 20 minutes and then it's just gonna sit on a landfill for ever? This is something small, but it's a step. Get it in lots of colors, get it in two different sizes. <laughs> so those were my autumn favorites going into the chilly and cold and rainy season here in the Netherlands. I'm actually looking forward to it. As always, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on my face down here in the corner. Down here is the team record of Patreon where you can choose to support the channel. And up here is a link to my last favorites video. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.